okay so in previous lecture i have told you about the checking or you can say that how to check whether it is the uh, whether decimal expansion of that rational number is terminating or non terminating without going the long division process okay now in this lecture i am going to discuss here how to convert or you can say how to find out decimal expansion without going that long division process okay so i'm taking example from your book that is 17 divided by 8 okay so i have i think told you about this in my last lecture now let's take another example okay so i'm taking another example or you can say question from your book that is 35 by 50 so the first process is that when when you see this zero so what we can write it like this 35 by 5 into 10 okay so now here a zero so we will put here a decimal okay so now this would be like 3.5 divided by 5 okay so now for terminating decimals we have find out that these all are the terminating decimal expansion okay so now this would be in the form of this can be written in the form of 2 to the power n and multiplied by 5 to the power m okay so now here 5 to the power m so what is m 1 now here here for converting to decimal expansion without division, what we would do here? We would do it to convert denominator in the form of tens. Okay, so in the form of tens. For, so, for converting tens, what we can write it like 2 to the power 1. Okay, so multiply 2 in numerator also. Okay, so now this would become 3.5 to the 7 divided by 10. Okay, this would be, this can be written like this because 5 to the 10. Okay, so 7 by 10. Now, this would be 0.7. Okay, so this was the decimal expansion of this number without going long division process. Okay, another example. So, 15 by, okay, just, I am erasing all this from here. Okay, so now the another example is 15 divided by 1600. Okay, so firstly, this is 0, 0. Okay, so we will put decimal from here to after two digits, 1 and 2. Okay, so or firstly, you can write like this, 16 multiplied by hundreds. Okay, so we will be put decimals after two digits, digits so 1 and 2. Okay, so 0.15 from right hand side, 1 and 2. So 0.15. Now, 16 okay so 0 0.15 divided by 16 now how we would writing it in the form of 2 to the power m and 2 to the power uh, 5 to the power n so we can write it like this 2 to the power 4 okay so now we would write it like this 5 to the power 4 and 5 to the power 4 okay so now it would become 0 0.15 into 625 5 to the power 4 is equal to 625 25 25 is 625 okay and this would become 10 to the power 4 okay so 10 to the power 4 because by exponent property what a to the power m into b to the power m is equals to a b to the power m okay so now this would become multiply 625 by 0.15 or you can you just multiply 625 by 15 and then divide by 1 and 4 0 okay so what would be the answer now 625 Okay, so 15 multiplied by 625 would be, I'm just multiplying 15 and 625, okay. After that, I will put decimal. So, it would be 9, 2, 7, 5. And two des the point is here. So, after two digits, so 1 and 2, so this would be decimal. Now, see this. Now, there is division by 10,000, okay. So, 10,000, that means 4. Uh, after four digits decimal okay so 
it could be right like this written like this 0092 okay because here after four digit decimal so one and two and two zero again so this would be your decimal expansion of that number okay so this was the method with the to converting the decimal num uh, to any number into decimal num decimal expansion 